On a night that I was meant to go see Dread but couldn't because some douchebag who will go and name got the day and time it was showing completely fucking wrong, I was forced to spend an evening dreadless. How dreadful. Pause for laughs. Seriously, he told me it was showing at half nine that Tuesday evening when in fact it was showing at ten to ten the next Wednesday, but anyway, I digress. I then immediately switched into can't be arsed mode until I stumbled across a description of a film called Savages, and when I read that the context of this description contained the words cannabis, nudity, violence, and John Travolta, I hit the road to the cinema harder than Sean Connery hits his wife. Savages is set in Laguna Beach, California, and follows the story of O, played by Blake Lively, who is a shared girlfriend of Sean, played by Taylor Kitsch, who is a short-fused former Navy SEAL, and Ben, played by Aaron Johnson, who is a peace-loving hit. Normally a couple of that description would get along about as well as a plane and a couple of two high buildings But these two have a common interest in growing the best cannabis in the state While two opposite people building a friendship on a common interest and bringing more people into the circle that they wouldn't otherwise associate with under other Circumstances and creating a peaceful community. There's only one place for those type of people isn't there society Anyway, the high quality drugs that our protagonist grows has attracted the attention of the cartel who are interested in doing a deal with Ben and Sean They refuse the partnership but are urged to reconsider by corrupt DEA agent Dennis played by the magnificent Magnificent John Travolta who has an invested interest in their drugs because it's helping his wife through leukemia and also warns them about how the cartel are savages. Pun totally intended. Despite this, the two decline the deal again and intend to flee the country. However, before that, the cartel kidnap Owen, threaten Ben and Sean that they will fuck her up if they don't meet their demands. Savages is relentless from the start. Within the first few minutes, there is a scene with a room full of hostages being decapitated with a fucking chainsaw and within its 131 minute duration contains drug use, shootings, murder, torture, arson and rape that were all handled very discreetly making this movie very watchable. Although it probably isn't being showed at the cinema anymore by the time this review is out, but I do urge that you buy, rent, download, legally of course, or watch this film through your neighbour's window because it's very, very good. In the past there have been films I've watched that I couldn't have given a fuck if the ending concluded with a giant triceratops killing everything, however I was emotionally involved with the characters and gave a fuck about what happened to them and controversial director Oliver Stone has turned this Don Winslow novel into a film that I enjoyed. My attention was never drawn away from the movie and I didn't want to bail on it. Finding negative elements in this film was hard, however the ending was a bit all over the place and could have been safe for the DVD, you'll get what I mean if you watch it. There were some scenes I laughed at which I didn't think were intended to be funny but then again I found that whole crucifixion thing kind of amusing. Also it felt like some parts dragged on and others were rushed making it somewhat messy and it did disrupt the flow sometimes but certainly not enough to fuck it in the ass. To conclude I do recommend Savages to anyone who likes a bit of everything in their movie but if you just want to see a comedy, watch another film. If you just want romance, watch another film. If you just want action and adventure, watch another film. And if you just want to to see pure horror and violence that not even Satan on cocaine could match then go check out Scotland.